Namaste. Welcome to Yoga with Leslie and Dirk. Dirk Markham created the music for this video. Come into a seated position on your mat or just on the floor. Stretch the spine long and roll your head around. Release the neck and bring your hands to your knees. Deepen your breath. Long, slow inhale. And long, slow exhale, releasing any tension. My secret is that I'm not your yoga teacher. Your own teacher is the intuition inside of you. But I will guide you through some exercises which you can adapt to your own body and your own style. Slowly lower the head, roll down and round your spine. And then lean back, hold on to your knees and bring the knees together. Interlace your fingers and see if you can open and stretch the space between your shoulder blades. If you interlace your fingers, you can stretch the wrists, stretch the arms, shoulders, and back. And then coming down onto our backs. Just release your weight into the floor here. Gently turn your head from side to side. And you can rock your knees back and forth. Undulating waves through your spine. Let the neck and head follow the movement that begins with your knees. Open your arms to the sides now and keep lowering the knees down from one side to the other. If this is too difficult, you can keep holding on to your knees and rocking back and forth. On an inhale, stretch your legs up to the ceiling and bring the arms above your head. Flex the feet, stretch upwards, and then slowly as you exhale, arms come to the sides, hug the knees in towards your chest. Once more, on the next inhale, Stretch the legs, flex the feet towards the ceiling, arms go up above your head, and exhale. Bring the knees into your chest and interlace your fingers. Rock from side to side. And then slowly come back up to sitting. You can either rock off to one side and push yourself up with your arm or, as I'm doing, do the reverse magma flow back up to sitting very slow like a snail. Lengthen the spine here, stretch through the back of the neck. And then release the legs out in front of you. 
You can rock from side to side, adjust that your sit bones are nice and flat on the earth. Try bending one knee and then the other. Roll the ankles and stretch forward. Release any tension in the shoulders and neck. Walk your arms out a little bit further in front of you. You can try swaying from side to side like I do. Slow, steady breath. And then walk your hands back, come back up to sitting. And keep churning and twisting your spine. Stretching one leg and then the other. You can try rolling your neck here. And then bring your hands behind you. Lift your hips off the floor and find that sweet spot in your shoulders where you can just hang into the stretch and rock back and forth like you're swinging in a hammock, stretching out the shoulders. You can also rock from side to side. Again, twist and turn the neck. Follow what feels right. And then gently set your hips down on the ground. And with bent knees, hang forward over your legs. Totally release the neck. Shake out your head, shake out your wrists. Toes and fingers completely relaxed. Head hanging heavy. And then we'll roll back up and come into that comfortable seated position. Root the tailbone down towards the earth and stretch the spine long. We're going to do some finger stretches. Grab your pinky and press the heel of your hand forward as you pull the finger back. If you like, you can sway from side to side and just enjoy a few deep breaths with each finger, moving one by one until you've stretched all the fingers of each hand. Again, follow what feels good. I like to stretch my neck and churn my spine while I stretch the fingers. And I do the first four fingers on each hand and then both thumbs last.
the swaying is too much for you, you can just stretch your fingers with your spine long. And then reach your arms out, stretch to one side and then the other. And on an inhale, reach up through your arms. Top of the inhale, palms touch. And exhale your hands down the center line. Walk your hands out in front of you now and come onto your elbows or forehead towards the earth. Stretch the hips back and breathe deep into the stretch. Feel from the fingers through your arms to the base of the spine. Long, deep stretch. Relax any resistance and melt into the stretch. You can begin to sway from side to side. Start walking the hands back and keep undulating the spine, stretching the shoulders. And then we're gonna take the rib cage in wide circles, stretching all the way back to the side and out in front of you. You can switch directions, shining the light from your heart out in all directions. as if you're winding up your energy. And then drop your head to one shoulder Slowly roll the head forward and across to the other side. If you want, you can release to the back as well, or you can just sway your head like a pendulum from side to side across the front of your chest. Move slowly and let go of each little tiny muscle in your neck that's been holding on for dear life. As you exhale, let that tension go.
And then slowly come back to center. Oh, all right, one more, one more big circle. Just do your own thing. Releasing all the way around. From here, bring your knees underneath your hips and your hands under your shoulders. On an inhale, arch the spine, shoulders back, head up. And then exhale, round your back, let the head hang, tailbone curls underneath you. If you need to, shake out the head a little and then inhale, arch your back. Exhale, round your spine. You can move at your own pace if I'm too slow or fast. And then slowly send the hips back towards your heels. If you want, you can tuck your toes under or leave the feet flat on the ground. Rock your hips from side to side. And stretch your shoulders. Roll the neck around. Feel length in every part of your back. And then walk your hands out to the right. I'm doing mirror image. And breathe into the left side of your body. Stretch some new space in between the ribs. Letting go with each exhale and filling the rib cage with each deep inhale. When you're ready, walk your hands to the center and across to the opposite side. Keep the hips in the center above your heels and stretch into the right side of your body. Keep the head down, neck and shoulders relaxed. And then walk your hands back to center. And bring the hips up. Stretch the sides of your body. And we're going to make some big hip circles. 
bring the hips forward around to the side and way back inhaling up the opposite side and stretch a few more of these circles enjoy the feeling of opening those hip joints Switch sides. Now make the circles in the opposite direction. If you feel like making little circles, that's okay too. Make sure you're connecting the movement and the breath into one fluid action. If you want to, you can set your hips down on the ground and then push back into downward dog. You can keep the knees bent if this helps you get length in the lower back, pointing the tailbone up towards the ceiling. And you want to press the heels towards the earth it's okay if they're not touching. Relax your neck. You can shake your head here. Yes and no. And sway your hips from side to side. On an inhale, take the left leg back and up. And exhale, place the foot between your hands for lunge. Stretching through the back heel, pull forward through the breastbone. And on an inhale, rise up. You can bring your hands to your front knee if you need support. Lower the tailbone down as you lengthen the arms up towards the ceiling. Shoulders come down away from your ears. If you want, you can slightly open the arms into a V. And then on an inhale, we'll take a back bend. Exhale, come forward, hands to the mat, and shift back to stretch the front hamstring. You can flex the front foot or just let it loose. Make sure your neck and head are relaxed. Breathing deep into the stretch. Come forward now into lunge. Press your hips forward as much as you can. Gently back to downward dog. Lift the right leg back and up. Exhale, foot comes forward into your lunge. Stretch back through the back heel. Pull forward through your chest and feel the long stretch through your whole body. And on an inhale, slowly rising up. Anchor the tailbone down, stretch back through the back heel and gradually Bring your arms up. Exhale the shoulders away from your ears. The V position is a little gentler on the shoulders. And on an inhale, gentle back bend. Exhale. 
Come forward, hands to the earth, and shift back to stretch the front hamstring. Send the breath into the leg that's active, and as you exhale, release into the stretch. Gently press the hips forward for lunge. You can rock sway from side to side. Come into plank and then push back, downward dog. Roll forward to plank and gently lower yourself down, chest and then hips to the earth. We're going to come into Cobra on an inhale, reach forward through the chest. Exhale, roll down, forehead towards the earth. Inhale, stretch up into Cobra, length in the neck. Slowly releasing towards the earth as you exhale. You can adjust your shoulders here. Stretch the neck. I have a lot of neck tension, in case you haven't noticed. From here, bring your hands under your shoulders and push back onto your heels. Child's pose. Long back. And we'll push back into downward dog. And then walk your feet towards your hands. Come into a standing forward bend. If you like, you can bend the knees slightly. Let the upper body release down. If you want, you can grab your elbows, release the shoulders, shake out the head. And with each exhale, melting down towards the earth. If you want, you can shake or sway, or just remain as steady and heavy as a pendulum at rest. We're going to roll up now, take a long, slow inhale as you come up one vertebra at a time. As you reach the top, bring the arms to the sides and overhead, hands touch, gentle back bend.
Come into Tadasana, mountain pose. Press the feet down, ground yourself to the earth. At the same time, lift up through the spine, stretching up to the sky. Prepare for a balance pose now. Take your right hand to your left foot, and if you can, stretch that foot out in front of you. If that's too challenging, you can just hug your knee with both arms and press the standing foot into the earth as you lift up through the spine. If you're doing the full twist, stretch the back arm out to the side. And then slowly release. And we're gonna roll down into a forward bend before switching sides. Slowly roll down. Shoulders, neck, hanging heavy. Gentle release. And then on an inhale, lower the hips and slowly roll up. completely unfurled. For the other side, take the left hand to the right foot and stretch that leg out. Again, if this is too much, you can hug the knee. Twist your body open and stretch the right arm to the side. Breathing into the twist, lengthening through your whole body. And then release the foot back to the ground. Watch out for your little hanging lamp. As I said in the beginning, if all else fails, just dance. I thought this would be a great time to move my hips around. Bring your feet underneath your hips, inhale, the arms reach to the sides and up. Interlace your fingers, except for the index fingers, which point up towards the ceiling. And then shift your weight from side to side. We're gonna come into the crescent moon side stretch, sending the hips to the left and stretching the upper body to the right. Release the neck. And on an inhale, stretch up and exhale, fold forward. Release any tension in the shoulders, shake out the head and neck. On an inhale, come up through a flat back, reach the hands up. Again, it's like the Charlie's Angels gun and then send the hips to the right while leaning towards the left. Relax your neck. Breathe into the side of your body. And on an inhale, stretch up. Release the arms. 
and we'll come into the forward bend. Bring the hips down, come into a squat, and then into your preferred seated position. Sit bones grounding down. Hug the knees, round your back, and once again, slowly roll down. Moving one millimeter per second. Slow and controlled. We'll take a gentle twist, dropping the knees to the right. If you want, you can stretch your left arm out to the left and look to the left. Or, as I've done, you can come up with your own creative shoulder stretch. Bring the knees up to center. If you need to, you can adjust your hips and then let the knees fall to the left. You can place the left hand on top of your knee and with the right arm, either open to the right and let your gaze follow your fingers or be a rebel and do your own thing. Slowly come back to center, bring your legs up and rock your head from side to side, releasing the neck. Feet come down, stretch your legs out in front of you. Place your hands by your sides, palms facing up. And relax all of your weight, all tension, all thought into the calm of Shavasana, deep relaxation. Let your breath flow on its own. No more action or doing. Simply being and letting go. Existing in the present moment.
Slowly deepen your breath. Bring your awareness back to your body. Turn your head from side to side. If you want, you can roll your ankles and roll your wrist joints. Stretch your body. When you're ready, roll on to one side and relax in a fetal position. Take this moment to reflect on your practice. Observe the flow of your breath, your calm, peaceful state of mind. And thank yourself for taking the time to move and breathe. Namaste.